What's up everyone, Lewis with Microroots, specializing in microgreens and edible flowers. In today's video, we are going to be talking about coriander, aka cilantro. We are going to take you from the basics of planting cilantro into your fresh soil, having to grow it at home for your own consumption. Check it out, you guys. Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to grow cilantro. So we are going to start off with your tray and soil. So currently, I have my Happy Frog soil I plan on using to go ahead and start my cilantro. So then once you have an even bed of soil, you will go ahead and take your coriander seeds, which I'm currently using the split seeds, And I ordered the split seeds. Um, split seeds are much easier to work with when um, spreading your seeds and also throughout the germination rate. So once you have your soil laid out on your tray evenly dispersed, you will go ahead and take your coriander seeds and you want to go ahead and sanitize your seeds um, with hydrogen peroxide. I am currently using the 35 grade hydrogen peroxide food grade to go ahead and sanitize all my seeds. It gives it a nice germination rate and also helps out when germinating. Take your coriander seeds and make sure to sanitize your coriander seeds with hydrogen peroxide food grade. I am using a ratio of 1 to 10, so 1 ounce to 10 ounces of water to go ahead and sanitize my cilantro seeds. So I will go ahead and pour the cilantro seeds into my 10 ounces of water and then I will also go ahead and take my hydrogen peroxide and pour one ounce of hydrogen peroxide into my mix. Once I have that mix I will go ahead and take, you can take a spoon, you can take anything you want to go ahead and mix your hydrogen peroxide. First time I did use hydrogen peroxide I tried using it without gloves and I burned some of my fingertips. So please be careful when you're dealing with hydrogen peroxide. That's one thing I definitely recommend is to go ahead and use gloves. Um, so then once you get your mix, let it sit for about you know four to five minutes. I do use vermiculite and perlite for a top coating with my cilantro. So if you're looking to go ahead and get a nice germination rate, I recommend to go ahead and use the vermiculite and perlite for a nice top coat. You want to go ahead and go light with it. And then once you're done with letting your hydrogen peroxide and coriander sit for about five minutes, you want to go ahead and drain out the water. Once you drain out the water, you will go ahead and then take your coriander seeds and evenly disperse the seeds across your tray. Now we are growing microgreen cilantro, so I am using 130 grams for my 21 by 24 inch tray. So once you go ahead and evenly disperse your cilantro across your tray, you want to watch out for any big pieces of um, twigs or mulch or 
you know, bigger pieces in your soil. So you can go ahead and take that out of your soil. You, know, you want to go ahead and take all the bigger debris out of your soil so you're not dealing with any, you know, any uneven germination. Um, that's the last thing you would like. So once you have your tray, so once you have your tray evenly dispersed, you will go ahead and add your vermiculite. So you will go ahead and give it top coat of the vermiculite. It doesn't have to be heavy, but just enough to go ahead and cover the seeds. And then I also like to give it a top coat of the perlite. And then once you go ahead and you spread your perlite, your vermiculite, your seeds, you will go ahead and have a nice tray that looks similar to what I have here. If you're using a standard 10 by 20 tray, that's fine. Just go ahead and mimic the same exact thing I did. So then once you go ahead and you have the vermiculite, you have your perlite, you have your seeds dispersed, you have a nice even flow going. Then you go ahead and you give it a nice water. You water it down, you make sure all corners are watered, everything is evenly dispersed, and then you go ahead and you take your tray to the germination room. Or if you're using 10 by 20 flats, you go ahead and you make sure to put your dome over your 10 by 20 flat to go ahead and have a nice germination rate. The reason we do use hydrogen peroxide is to go ahead and eliminate the mold. Um, with cilantro seeds, sometimes mold appears out of nowhere and it can go ahead and destroy your germination rate. So hydrogen peroxide will definitely be a key benefit fact to going to planting your cilantro. So after about four to seven days, your cilantro tray should look similar to this tray right here. You have a nice even flow of germination rate. Your seed holes are starting to fall off the top. So when planting cilantro, you want to be careful with mold issues. As you guys can see, there's a little bit of mold right there. And that tends to happen if you don't go ahead and you cleanse your cilantro correctly. So it could even happen if you do use hydrogen peroxide to go ahead and clean your cilantro. And also give it a nice top water coat to go ahead and get all the seeds to go ahead and fall off the plant before sticking your cilantro tray into the system to where you don't have the seeds attached to the plant when harvesting. So you want to be careful because you could fall into problems and you see that mold. So, and then you can see other trays that don't have any type of mold. And it depends if you clean your trays correctly and sanitize your seeds. So, just giving you guys a quick view of what could happen when not sanitizing your cilantro seeds. And we are going to harvest our cilantro now. I'm currently using a Black & Decker hedge trimmer from Home Depot if you're looking to go ahead and invest into a nice hedge trimmer. You could also buy this product on Amazon. I will go ahead and leave a link down below for you to go ahead and purchase this item. <laughs> So a couple of pros and cons regarding cilantro. So when growing cilantro, you really have to be careful with mold and bacteria and fungus. Um, for some odd reason, cilantro likes to accumulate um, dirt and mold and fungus. 
um, on top of their seed pod. So you have to make sure to go ahead and sanitize your cilantro before planting. If you don't do that, you will go ahead and run into a lot of problems when you're germinating your cilantro. Um, after four to five days, you want to make sure to go ahead and spray some hydrogen peroxide on top of your cilantro to go ahead and eliminate the mold that does accumulate, if it does. You want to go ahead and make sure to check your cilantro every two days to, to see if anything is starting to build on that cilantro. Cilantro has a high rate in germination only if you go ahead and you make sure to eliminate anything that does start to accumulate and grow in cilantro. So I recommend hydrogen peroxide food grade 35% to go ahead and keep your cilantro nice and perfect. Um, one other thing with cilantro, if you are harvesting cilantro with the Black & Decker head trimmer, please be careful when cutting because you could easily cut off your fingers or cut a piece or skin of your hand and you know that would be a drastic drastic situation so I definitely go ahead and if you're not familiar with the head trimmer please be careful do not give this to kids if you are planning to use this please have some experience with head trimmers and don't fall right into using this product if you're not familiar with using it because it could easily cut off your finger all you would have to do is push down on the safety device and hit the trigger and this head shrimp will start going and the only way it would stop is if you let go of the device so please be careful one other thing about cilantro um, I have a lot of chefs that are telling me that they like the long stems and then I have other chefs that are telling me that they do not like the, the long stems so I will go ahead and make sure to find out what your chef likes before you go ahead and you start issuing out product or start selling your cilantro so if you're selling your cilantro, you just want to go ahead and make sure to confirm if the cilantro that's being sold is going to be short or long stemmed. And um, talk to your chefs, find out what they like best. Some other things about cilantro that you should definitely know is that cilantro likes a lot of light and airflow. So you want to make sure that you're giving your cilantro airflow, meaning fans are nearby your cilantro. If you don't give your cilantro airflow and a good amount of light then you're going to have dampening off you're going to have mold that starts to accumulate you're going to have fungus that starts to accumulate you probably might get some fungus gnats so you want to definitely give your cilantro some nice airflow it has to be aerated you want to make sure that you're not heavily portioning out your seeds into your trays with a high rate of seed volume versus your soil that will go ahead and lead you to a lot of fungus and a lot of mold. So please be careful when doing that. Um, I would go ahead and start off light. So if you're using a 10 by 20 tray, I would go ahead and start off with 100 grams of cilantro and then move up as you start to progress and you get to find out how your 10 by 20 flats or if you're any kind of flats that you're currently using will work with the system you have because it all depends on your system. Your system is the main factor of how your cilantro will come out. So you want to make sure with your system that you have nice airflow. You want to make sure that you have your lights on between 15 to 17 hours on, 18 being the tops. Um, because once you go over 18, your leaves will start to burn out and then you'll have a bad yield. So once you harvest your cilantro, you want to go ahead and make sure to put your water resistant pads inside of your containers to where the moisture don't accumulate inside of your containers and you will have fresh cilantro. So once you are done with harvesting your cilantro, you should have something similar to this. Hey guys, I want to thank you for tuning in and I hope the tips that I gave you to go ahead and grow cilantro is definitely going to help you out. I want to thank everyone for subscribing and watching my channel and taking the time to go ahead and leave a comment, like my videos, I really do appreciate it. I hope that you could go ahead and start growing cilantro the way I do and have some big harvest and yields to where it's profitable for your company or it's profitable for yourself 
as you consume it and you get healthy. I really do appreciate everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Take care, you guys. Peace.